All right, we are going to try something different today. We're going to make some music live. And yeah, I've wanted to do this for a long time. And just kind of, you know, use all this stuff that we have and try to make stuff. My brother and I do uh, music licensing stuff and we create the tracks ourselves and we help other people do the same thing. So I wanted to try to do a song from the. Uh, or just something from the beginning to the end. Just have some fun. So, um, we're going to jump right into it. I found something in... Let's, uh, let's get out of here. First of all, let's get rid of this for a second. I use Luna right now. Um, I'm a fan of Luna. I actually, we used Logic for a long time, still like Logic. Used to use Pro Tools back when I used to track bands and stuff like that more. But uh, lately, been getting into the Luna stuff just because it is easily connected to the the hardware we use to record some of our stuff. So um, that song, that sound you heard on the first was from a plugin called Arcade. I'm gonna pull that up, and I kind of dug this right here. So it's like sometimes in my creation, I like to come up with just general ideas. Um, but a lot of times I use the bass guitar to do that. So let's see if we got a click track going here by chance. All right. So if I lay down from that, I can record that MIDI. Arcade is a plug-in kind of, I guess you would call it a plug-in. But it is, here I'll kind of show you. I don't know if this audio on my mic is sounding any good. It's kind of breaking up. The, um, anyway, it's a fast way and it's a really cool way to get ideas. You can basically create a song with any one of these. I don't use it in that sense where I use completely just make a song from Arcade. I like to, uh, well, we, Chad and I both, we like to create stuff from our instruments a lot of the times, and then we use these different things to add, like, you know, all different kinds of styles, and they kind of help, you know. It may just be a little piece from one of these that we had in there, but anyway. So, for some reason this one struck this morning. I'm going to shut this off. Okay. So I may do a couple of tracks of that. I think I got the click track on. And um, let's go like this. All right, so that's a bar of that. Luna, I'm getting kind of used, a little bit used to this. Um, you can quickly quantize, I think, by hitting that button. And then the side, eights, quarters, or sixteenth of thirty seconds. We'll just go quarter, quantize to that bar. And we should have a full measure. Let's bounce that to the end. <laughs> All right, so there's a basic, um, whatever, I don't know what you call that, kind of an idea. And the next thing in my head, I was kind of thinking, just like a beat with that would be cool. We could either go from arcade or we could bring up another instrument, which is, I use this a lot for drums, Superior Drummer 3. I feel like that my microphone's got like a buzz to it. I'm gonna do something here. Pull up my Alright, now you're looking at the software I use to stream with. ATM software. 
while we're at it, I'll just show you like this. I don't know if you can see this. This switcher over here is what I use to switch between these cameras and then computers. I don't have my fourth input plugged in today. Sometimes I plug another computer into that and we do interviews and stuff like that. Um, anyway, I digress. Anyway, okay, so there's um, that. I'm going to switch something real quick while I'm thinking about it here. Let's just go here. And let's put that bad boy in here. So, all right, back to Luna. And hold on one second. Make sure that I am. Okay, so we are live. It's all the one thing I check on now because I. I did an interview with Aaron Wesley, and we got halfway through it and realized that I wasn't live, so that was kind of a pain. Anyway, back to music. This is our sound. And then I want to add, I'm wanting to add an instrument. I want to add Superior Drummer. Superior Drummer is a really, it's a really good uh, realistic program. I picked this particular software. There's a lot of good softwares out there for drums. Uh, Get Good Drums is, is incredibly good too. They uh, they have kind. Of, I feel like they have more mix ready stuff. This one you have to do a little bit more work. It may be sound a little may sound a little bit more natural at the beginning. Like that's a pretty natural sounding kit. I uh, have some presets. Should use for this. I don't know why I'm feeling, feeling the big toms. Feeling those big toms this morning. Big red tom. Big red. Big red tom. As it loads, it takes a while. There's like, there's, I don't know, several. I think there's 100 gigs, maybe 150 gigs in this particular download. I do have, let me get rid of that here. All right. Gosh, it is taking forever. That's what you get for being on here live. This is what producers do. They wait for things to load. This is a particular kit. It's, it's a, actually a Bob Rock. Um, preset, which I don't know if you know who Bob Rock is. Bob Rock is the producer for a lot of big records, a lot of big sounding records, Metallica, I like their commercial stuff. I think, I don't know, I can't think of anything else right now, but there's a lot, he has a lot. So anyway, here is this kit, it's almost loaded. Finding a, this is a particular Interesting. I have the click track going because I want to hear actually the beat. I don't know. We've got the, with, with this particular plugin, like many plugins that you have, probably you'll you'll have a follow tempo. It's following host. I don't know if you can see it down here. This button, follow host, uh, which is set our project is set to four four and. Tempo 120. That's a shuffle, probably not. That might be cool. Um, so okay, so you can you can go through these. I cleared all the filters, and you can pick your genre. I'm not particularly sure even what this genre would be right now. Sometimes you just have to experiment. I'm just going to go pretty standard. That's where we were to begin with. I don't know, maybe. Is 
This might be interesting if we did the song creator, which you can click that little button down there and um, actually drag this into your MIDI zone. And this will pre-select ideas for songs. If you like any of these pro programs I use, I have the links in my descriptions. And you can, uh, you can purchase those through the links. It actually helps my, my channel, helps me make a little side cash from Amaz the Amazons to support spending time with this stuff. All right. This is long. Maybe just this one. Let's try using the song creator. Let's get rid of the quick track since we already have kind of a beat now. Alright, so maybe. The one thing this thing does is. If you have it on follow host, you have to use your transport controls on your DAW to do this. If I want to unfollow host, I can move through the timeline here and select different things. I want to find, I want to get to some. Okay, so. I want to take some of these out here because I really okay. There's a there's some meat. We got to the meat. Let's just get rid of this. Here's an end. This may work for an end. This is going to be a short example anyway. So follow host. All right. So we'll leave the drums drums alone for a little bit. We have this on the loop. What I need to do. Is make this so four bars. I kind of want to just start out with it. Too loud for this. Let's turn this down. snap um, I use that a lot when creating when originally creating stuff I like to snap to grid um, just to get the basic outline and then take it off when you're doing more detailed stuff so uh, we'll leave snap on we want to duplicate this particular track a couple times and we got four other sections I don't know what the drums do So oh, at at bar nine, I want to I want to be into it by then. So um, let's. Also, I do have the chat on, so if you <laughs> if you think it sucks, feel free to comment. Sucks. Look at my analog shirt. That looks pretty bad. Bad a yeah. Works with the blue in the back. Okay. Um, nine, I need to get to nine, 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 nine. All right. So I need instrument, my drums. Why is this not labeled? This is the main stereo track. Let's, let's call this something very important when mixing or producing is that you label things, make it easy for yourself, especially if you get 300 billion tracks. Drums, all right. Uh, <laughs> one kind of crazy thing about Luna too is you don't have to save. Like, if you're if you're a creator, you're always saving stuff. You're always like, oh man, I better save this, especially if you like something. Um, and this particular automatically saves all the time, which is I don't know how it does that, but all right, so. 
nine. We want it into the meat by the Dot, dot, dot. All right, so I want to go, I kind of want to end by 17. This is what they picked out as an ending. So let's unfollow host, go to here. Let's see. Oh, not bad, not bad, not, not bad. I bet you want to see that. There it is. Uh, They called it, you know, they label these things ending. This is uh, to create a kind of a basic outline for song, for your song, and then you can adjust it later if you want to. If you want to adjust it later, you can double click on stuff. And the one awesome thing about Superior Drummer is like, if you're like, oh, I, I kind of dig this, this part. Sorry. You can change your power hand, which if you're um, wanting to switch that and have it, you can automatically really quickly. And I feel like that, I feel like that maybe, oh my gosh, too many things going on. I feel like that, uh, it's kind of similar to maybe how a drummer works. So, I don't know. This is probably going to get redundant here. Let's see what else is on here just for grins. This is Arcade. I want to label this better here. Arcade. So with Arcade, let me pull that up here. With Arcade, you have, what is that, octave plus, two octaves? Yeah. So you have, it gives you kind of a, okay, a theme. This is kind of a theme. And then these things should work with it. Like if you were to. That's C, D, E, F. So remember that, F. F, F, F. That's kind of cool. Let's see, within this, I'm kind of getting off on arcade here, but you can change a lot of stuff. Height, you always want to change the height. Cleaner, it's its wave. These are what they call macros, set to uh, simply do things quick. Um, so another thing to point about uh, output is that the black keys you can see right here have different modifiers. That's probably a reverse, I guess. All right. Very cool, very fun. Let's get out of that. I was gonna change that to F, but I wanna keep this. So I wanna duplicate the same track. And I don't, I don't want any of these. I don't want any of the same notes. I put things on a different track because I wanna mix it differently. And I have to get something done in an hour, people, because I gotta, I gotta take my kids to a, a deal, a thing. A thing. I want to eventually um, have other people write with me online. I'm trying to figure out how to do that through Zoom. And uh, nobody's really here, but 
I have one concurrent viewer. I think that might be me. Thanks for joining. So I'm going to say thanks for joining. Joining. <laughs> joining. I'm going to think thanks for joining to myself. Oh, that's so nice. I feel good about being here. I feel purposed. Um, all right. F. F. Let's bring it up. That was the key I liked, so... But I think only the second part. Let's hit it, this record. Let's go in record mode right now. That was off, off time there. Not good. All right. Maybe, uh, okay, it's in between notes. One, two. Ah, missed it again. All right. right on. It's right on the beat. Maybe. That's better. Second part. I don't know. Second. A lot of make time to make. A lot of to making stuff is just trying stuff and failing. All right, so the first one I hate, second one, not bad. Quantize, core to quantize, should be quantized. And I like the trim attack. So this one. heard it as like a mono channel. Alright, whatever. Let's get some bass guitar in here because that's what really matters. I'm a bass player and that's all that matters. It's bass guitar. Um, small, blah, 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 blah. Let's get a channel. Get rid of that. Add. In no! No! Add audio. Bass. The bass. All right, so I've got it plugged into actually my client two. I don't know if you can see this. No, you can't really see that. So two, there's two inputs on the front of this thing, direct ends. All right, so this is the, this is the old Tobias right here. Trusty old Tobias. It's like a mess in here. Kind of is. All right. Let's get some sound. All right. One thing on um, Luna, it's good to to note is here. This little button right there is an arm mode that that goes to almost zero latency, which you want. You want that? You want zero latency? Okay, so Unison, I don't know if you're familiar with Apollo, but we have Unison preamps, which are pretty much the reason why people, a lot of people get uh, Apollo stuff, other than their, their converters are amazing. So, um, yeah, so I usually just do some 10, like a simple 1073. 
Um, and I'm really just looking for the sound of it and maybe to bump up the gain. Golly, maybe a ton. How much gain do I have to bump up? This instrument right here, uh, I've been having trouble with the pickups. And so it's a little low output, but let's bump this up maybe. Kind of hear it. And then here's what I really like. Kind of that LA, LA2A compressor. I like this, sometimes I like this silver one. Put it in limit mode. Peak reduction. Get some gain out of that. Ooh, that might be too hot. Aggressive there. So I'm using the Neve 1073 Unison preamp with a with a cool um, LA2A compressor on the back end. It's not on the back end, it's on the front end. But it's after the Neve preamp. All right, one thing to make sure too is always tune tune these bad boys. We tune because we care, right, people? Yeah. We wear a mask because we care, and we also tune our instruments because we care. I can't believe my kids have not interrupted this. They're home, home today. really like to do well I really like to do a lot of things but um, I'd like to do one of these where the audience um, dictates what we play like we write a song you know the, somebody could put in the chat hey write a song about turtles and uh, uh, put it in a minor and we could do that and uh, that would be a blast to try to do that stuff and do it live with all the mistakes of being live and i'm gonna have to pick up a little bit pick my pick my pace up a little bit we are where's this one here i guess that's better all right bass guitar tuned <laughs> Oh, let's listen to this. All right, so one thing you can do with arcade is you can go, let's get rid of this. Let me show you here. Arcade, you can pull up. It dictates by key. Okay, so we're in C sharp major. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, that was a fun one. C sharp major, major. Major. It's a third, so it's one. Three. That's one, two, four. So this bass is kind of weak right here on the upper register. So one thing you can do, uh, producers probably like this information too. You can lower down to your lower strings. You're going to get more more weight. So your there's your C C here and then C sharp. So here's your key. So. Um, I'm gonna noodle around with this and, and just have fun. Thank you. 
no za to, ja. stuff and you realize you hadn't even armed it. Let's try this with arming the track, which is always better. Let's get rid of that and just try one for real. Ah, I hit the wrong note again. Again, let's keep part of that. Again. That's not really a great ending note, but. So, if we go and cut this. Oh, we'll get back here. Get rid of that record. All right, so I'm going to probably tweak that a little bit just because we're in a hurry. Get rid of this thing. Gosh, we only got 15 minutes left. Man, I gotta do better than that. All right, so let's solo the drums in this. What's up, buddy? What's that? How are we doing We are. You're gonna have to be patient. I got 15 more minutes. Can you see hi to the YouTube people? <laughs> YouTube. Debut, Abraham. All right, buddy. I'll be up in just a second, okay? Can you shut the door behind you? So what about this last part? There was... He didn't hit that last note, Brett. What are you doing? Oh, what if we just cut it there, bra? What's up, bra? All right. He does have one more note, or one hit. Oh, so here's what you do, trickery. Um, this is where you take it out of snap mode. You want to, you want him to end. Wow. Gosh, let's go here. Here's the last note. And I want to go back to snap mode. So that's, that's the last note. But he's not hitting it on that. He's later. I wonder if he's a quarter later. Let's go to the eight. 
<laughs> All right, so that's a, you gotta have a good finish, you know what I mean? All right, so. One thing cool about this. So check this out. All right, on Luna, you can hit E and go way expand, which is pretty cool, back and forth. And then they have the fades built in, and you can fade it back and forth like that. So I want to go back to snap mode. Dude, oh, it goes on forever. I'm going to cut it out sometime. Hey, it's almost like I played it. Um, is that, so I, get, I need to fill that spot, right? So, all right. So it's a second part. Let's just cut this. Let's do this, cut this, uh, copy that, copy that, Roger, Roger, copy that. Does that work? I recorded all those. I, I rec when I put all that stuff on the front of the, oh, whatever, you don't care. Um, so I do want to put a compressor in the LA 2A. I'm starting to feel the pressure now. Can you, can you sense it? I'm like, oh, I gotta get it done. I gotta get it done. Oh. So da da, limit. just no time people all right so So we're in mix here. We have done no mixing on this. Uh, I think it got off there. That's wrong. Uh, 
then it repeats. Actually, I screwed up this piece right here. This piece right here needs to go in. One thing we can do is, while I'm developing this, we can duplicate this track, take all this out, and then I'm going to copy this down here. And I really only want that part. And bam. <laughs> All right, cymbal's a little crispy on that. Not sure if I'll use that drum sound. doggies doggy doggy that is about it i think we're gonna have to come back and work on this song later That is a basic track. We might have to add some guitar. Maybe have, have my brother come on next time. And I will uh, mix this. Well, actually, we need more parts. So we need a few more parts, and then we'll mix it. And if you have an idea for a name of this, let me know. Um, right on. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Thanks for joining me in this lovely thing we call Making Music Live. I feel like that's probably the most creative name you could ever have for something this wonderful. The, um, the only thing better than that is being able to listen to this thing one more time before we leave. And thanks for tuning in. And we'll catch you next time on Brett B from Outer Space, Making Music Live.